listeners from the uh, Reclaim Your City network. This is an, a network based in Berlin. Originally it was a website before with that name about uh, urban art, graffiti and street art. Um, after a while there was some kind of idea to make an exhibition every year. One of the titles Reclaim Your City and from this exhibition uh, I think it started like 10 years ago uh, during this repeating meeting of artists working on the topic of uh, city, urban space, uh, graffiti, urban art and social issues, there was growing a huge network of artists working working together. So and like these exhibitions here from these posters, there was the idea if we want to reclaim urban space uh, for social issues, we don't want to go in exhibition spaces, we want to bring the art to the people. And so um, they started to make occupations of spaces, like this was in the beginning, like they make meeting points in some uh, at some place, you have to be uh, quick then at on time. and. Uh, then there's a meeting point and it goes to uh, goes to an occupied place where the exhibition takes part. Um, yeah, this was the last one in November. This was for supporting uh, another campaign for a space that is not occupied, um, but it's a really huge empty space at the moment and it's owned by it's still owned by the government, but they want to private, privatize it. And uh, there's a, they have a campaign from Bündnisstadt von Unten, uh, so they want to make it a social, not, uh, they don't want to let this, this area get sold, they want to have a social, social space there. And it's a really huge space, they made the campaign, and so far to support this campaign, the exhibition last year uh, took place there. So, uh, so during the night, a lot of artists came through this empty area and painted the walls with slogans. And they secretly they built up uh, this exhibition inside of the of inside of the empty buildings. And so, like uh, before, a lot of people showed up at the meeting point. Everyone went inside. And so there was like a kind of occupation, the police didn't notice. And um, yeah, so it's more like if you go now to the area, it's still, it's still empty and still in discussion. Then you can see on the walls that there are things going on and there are people not amused with the things going on there. And uh, so it's more like one idea of of strategy to change the urban space with art. And, yeah, also so a lot of people are involved, like as I said, urban artists, they're also like uh, critical geographers who are doing uh, critical maps. Like this is also a project coming out of these people and uh, other people, other groups involved doing illegal parties with uh, anarchist messages. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> And I don't know, over there, there are also critical maps from the Econoclasista collective, I don't know who hang them. This, this collective you brought, that has all the colored photos of the one of our mm -hmm. that's from all over the city? I mean, well, it was, can you explain a little bit about it? Ah, so yeah. the one of who, this is also, um, it's, it's, it's a huge graffiti crew, and they are painting everywhere. Why not? Yeah, it's like this, it's like, you can say like an urban art campaign. It's like a really radical way of uh, taking spaces. Okay. Like, you can say like the idea of hacking, mm -hmm. hacking the urban surface. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible book. I mean, it's yeah. great work we're doing everywhere around the city. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. See, you can say something about it. Yeah.